Hello guys, my name is Lesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we continue watching the Big Bang Theory season 7. Well guys, the last episode was super duper hot because Sheldon kissed Amy on the train and it looked like that he liked it. Woo! Juicy juicy, am I right? It was so unexpected because Amy was super mad as she tried to make a perfect, I think it was Valentine's Day or some sort of a date or anniversary and Sheldon was just vibing with the random dude on the train that acts exactly like Sheldon so Amy got mad and then Sheldon was like yeah you do this you do that do you think I like it and then he was like I might kiss you and he kissed her it was so good <laughs> and then in the second episode he tried to break up with her because Leonard bought a table what a contrast right and i'm super excited to see what's gonna happen today so let's talk and guys let's get started can we please talk about something other than my depressing love life how about penny's depressing acting career <laughs> that's a good topic hey, penny's following her dreams and in my book that is not depressing is that book called lies i tell to get sex <laughs> <laughs> is that a real book i would totally read that book can i borrow it when you're done <laughs> <laughs> turned down a part in a movie last week. Why would you do that? Because it was crap. It was a sequel to that awful killer gorilla movie I was in. I thought you died in that. No, she does. 42 minutes in. While showering topless, 16 minutes after brief sidebar during a pillow fight with the story sisters. He knows the drill. Way. I don't try to clone me from my corpse, but my DNA gets mixed with the ape's DNA and I end up running around with giant gorilla hands and feet. Am I missing something or isn't that the part she was born to play? <laughs> <laughs> Are you really not gonna do this movie? Well, I don't think it's the kind of part that's good for my career. Don't a lot of famous actors get their start doing bad movies? I don't think Meryl Streep ever had to say, must keep gorilla hands from killing again. <laughs> so if you think it's reasonable to turn down paid work and just burn through your savings, I'm sure you know what you're doing. I'm gonna make her feel bad. I think we're gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? We're making fun of failed careers. We didn't get to tap the juicy vein that is Howard's. <laughs> Hey, I work the at best man for Sheldon. You... Can I ask you something? Why do you constantly feel the need to put down my husband? Oh, I'm sure he does it out of love, the same way my boyfriend makes me feel terrible about my life choices. I think we're gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> I was just excited that someone offered you a part and a little surprised that you'd rather sit at home and do nothing than take it. My God, guys, you gotta go. <laughs> Now it's a fight. Well, with that sorted out, I'm happy to answer your question, Bernadette. Howard started it. Ten years ago, upon first seeing me, your husband claimed that I looked like C-3PO and Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> and he called me C-3P Wee Herman. That's it. The blame is on you, Howard. <laughs> Nine years, 11 months, and three weeks ago. He followed that up by replacing the slides from my lecture with photographs of nude fat women bending over. Oh. In any event, that began a decade-long progression of insults, pranks, and unwanted magazine subscriptions. To this day, I still get a monthly copy of Granny on Granny. <laughs> Thanks for walking me to my car. Actually, it's for both of us. Last night I watched West Side Story and I'm a little freaked out by street gangs. Why can't Raj find a girl? The mystery continues. Whatever happened with your online dating? <sighs> no one was writing me back, so I stopped checking my profile. Before I met Sheldon, I was ready to give up too. Then I met Sheldon and look at where we are now. You've kissed like once in three years. That's true, do whatever you want. <laughs> Listen, I was thinking you and I could Probably try to be better friends. It's so about I was thinking, time. What we have now is a bit much. I was talking to Bernadette last night and points. You and I have known each other a long time. And I didn't hear the rest because she took her bra off. <laughs> How do you propose we move forward? For starters, we could stop insulting each other. That's a great idea. And in the spirit of our new arrangement, I will mask my surprise that you came up with it. <laughs> I got invited to do a little talk at NASA in Houston this weekend. They gave me two tickets. Bernadette can't go. You want to have oh, fun with me? Oh, I'm going to invite Sheldon. I have one question. Is this a prank? Yeah, where we land in Houston and you've made up wanted posters that have my face with a mustache and a Spanish name and then I get arrested and deported to South America? I think it's too other one for Harvard. I'm glad because I would not have seen that coming. <laughs> I could use some help. Oh, let me guess. There's an... 
Undergrad in a leather jacket, snapping his fingers by the water fountain. <laughs> Is Raj and Naomi gonna be some sort of besties? I thought about what you said last. And I was looking at this girl's profile. She's amazing. Oh, she's cute. And judging by her lack of Adam's apple, she's been female her entire life. <laughs> I like that in a woman. Great, so what do you need me for? Well, I was up all night trying to write to her, but I wanted to run it by you first. All right. Aww. Your face is like a precious dew-kissed flower. Wow. A classic Raj thing. You're supposed to be yourself, not all desperate and creepy. Well, but okay, the thing is, some... this is him. Normal, like, <laughs> this is I... real Raj. So your or you just write it for me. I'm not going to pretend to be you. I don't want you to pretend to be me. You can be like my uh, online wingman. And if you think it'll help, that you saw me changing once, and my package reminded you of the muscular tail of a jaguar. <laughs> Use your own words. Exactly. Thanks again for taking me to the pharmacy. Oh, it's no problem. Is everything okay? Uh, there's a remote yet distinct possibility that I may end up in South America. <laughs> You're not gonna go there. Remember the old Lots. days when I would've... Oh no! Uh, that doesn't sound good. Is her engine? Remember the old days when I used to point out that your check engine light was on? <laughs> yeah, it finally does. Yes. Get ready to stroll down memory <laughs> lane, Penny. Your check engine. Yeah, light. I know it's on, Sheldon. Oh no, 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 no! I cannot afford this right now. Maybe it's just something minor. <laughs> <laughs> Come outside! It's gonna explode. Oh, <laughs> Are we playing individual or teams? Our oh, teams are fun. Oh, it took case, what, I'd like, like to be seven years for Howard. the car to die? Do that lasted long. Friend? Oh, hi. Oh, how did it go with the mechanic? Uh, not great. Can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah, sure. I don't know what to do. My car threw a rod and it's totaled. I can't afford a new one. I have no job and now I can't drive to auditions. Yeah, I, I know it's a sensitive subject, but can you reconsider that part in the movie? I did. I called them. The part's gone. I gave it to Aww. someone else. Now that girl's gonna get discovered and become famous and go on Letterman and talk about how she got her big break on some cheap monkey movie all because some dumb girl thought it was beneath her. Aww. At least they talked about you on Letterman. Leonard, I just can drive you wherever you need. Leonard, could you wrap it up? We're waiting on you. <laughs> I'm sorry, is the fact that my life's falling apart interfering with your board game? It is. <laughs> Have a breakdown Howard, somewhere she else. Understood. <laughs> Have you heard back from Emily? I have. Great, and? And I'm afraid she doesn't think you're right for her. Aww. I give you one simple thing to do. <laughs> Contact a complete stranger and make her fall in love with me and you blow it. You I couldn't do it yourself, so shut up. That you didn't <laughs> I'm not too shy and passive. You write her back and tell her I said that. You know, when you have a second. Look, I'll see if I can change her mind tomorrow night. What's happening tomorrow night? I'm eating her for coffee. <laughs> what? Well, we just, we emailed back and forth a bit and we kind of hit it off. Ended up having a lot in common. We went to Harvard, we liked Chaucer, we're both hardcore into quilting. <laughs> Aw, she's gonna find a new best Your friend. That's Sheldon. He says he'll be down in a minute. What are you doing? He's not coming out until he sees proof you don't have an air freshener in your car. <laughs> <laughs> Sheldon is so extra. You're the reason I'm doing it. I said to stop insulting each other. I didn't tell you to take them on a romantic getaway. <laughs> you excited for Texas? Oh, very much so. It's not every day you get to tour NASA with a real astronaut. Oh, <gasps> who's the real astronaut? <laughs> what about not insulting? Buzz Aldrin. Oh, yay! <laughs> Gotta go with Sheldon, so funny. Howard. <laughs> oh. He's not the door. I have to go to the bathroom. You just went to the bathroom. Yeah, but I didn't use it because it didn't seem safe. Fine. Why are you getting annoyed? I'm trying to be a better friend, but you constantly say and do irritating things. How about in the car? I'm an astronaut, and you know it. You just don't like admitting it because you're jealous. Truth be told, as a child, I did dream of going to space. Those astronauts were my heroes. When you got to go, it was hard for me because it made me realize I'll just send anyone up there. <laughs> He's like, out. you're nope. not going to but the toilet. I still need to use the bathroom. That's it. Here you go. Be creative. <laughs> What's the matter? Scared of a little turbulence? 
No. Oh my god. Turbulence is just the equalization of diurnal temperature too. variations in the atmosphere. This is nothing. I experienced way worse when I was plummeting back to Earth, apparently not being a real astronaut. <laughs> Oh, okay, that was no. That's not looking I good. Why wouldn't I want to get my old job back? It'll be fun to see everyone. I haven't talked to them since I said, I quit. See you at the Oscars, bitches. Come on, let's just get this over with. Let's just get this over with. Am I driving you to the Cheesecake Factory or are we having sex? <laughs> Come on, don't look so sad. You never know what's going to happen. Maybe tonight will be great. Sweetie, I know you're trying to make me feel better and I love you for that, but it's making me feel worse and I kind of hate you. This isn't your car. I know. I thought we'd take yours. I don't understand. What? Oh my fancy, god. We'll get you to auditions and at least for now you don't have to go back to waitressing. That's unbelievable. I don't know what to say. Oh my god. That's so romantic. And so thoughtful. Look, I admit that it's odd that Rajesh didn't write to you himself, but if you get to know so him, cute. you'll see he's just a sweet, regular guy. As a counterpoint, here he is uninvited and visibly sweating. <laughs> Hello, Emily. Let me ask you something. Would a passive guy barge in here to look you in the eye and say, Hey, do you kiss flower? What's up? <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna go. No but a weird guy with no boundaries might. Are we still gonna go to that Chaucer reading Friday? You know, I think I'm just gonna go by myself. Thanks, Not Rajesh. My, <laughs> my goodness, it's still oh, going. Baby, I ever did or said to you. I'm sorry too, it's all my fault. Oh my God. If you God. weren't my friend, there'd be a hole in my life. Thank you, Sheldon. Oh. You like the captain has turned off the fastened seatbelt sign. You're now free to move about the cabin. That's it, so, yeah. relax. Should we? Stop holding hands now. <laughs> In a minute. Okay, good. <laughs> oh my god, it was hilarious. I did. His talk at NASA went great. No, Sheldon didn't heckle him? No, in fact, he was so well behaved. Howie bought him a Buzz Aldrin bobblehead and astronaut ice cream. Aww. Hey guys, hey Stuart. Yay, hey Stuart! How's it going? How are you Good. doing? Shannon's out of town, so we can do whatever we want. We even ordered from the Thai place he doesn't like. Uh, how is it? Disgusting. Do not tell him. <laughs> well, I told Howie if I wasn't busy, I'd spend the night at his mom's. So for God's sake, think of something. <laughs> Stuart, are you okay? Oh no. Oh, I don't feel so. Uh, oh, Stuart. Stuart. Oh my God, you guys, we can do something. Call 911. He's been murdered by someone in this room. Oh my god. What? Welcome to another classic Kutrapali murder mystery dinner. Gosh, please send me an invitation. Go I want to be part of this. You're a suspect in the mysterious murder of Stuart Bloom. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> you really gonna lie on the floor and pretend to be dead all night? I didn't think I was gonna do it home. <laughs> Come on, guys. Raj put a lot of effort into this, and that's great. It's not sad. It's great. <laughs> it I is think it great. Might be fun to be someone else tonight. Uh, actually, you're all just gonna be yourselves. Oh, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Boring. Right. Here are some secret facts about each of you, including whether you are the murderer. Feel free to ask each other questions to uncover clues. Got it. Hey, who's the murderer? <laughs> Any question but that. Hey, who's not the murderer? Can you not stand so close to me? What do you care? You're dead. Suit yourself, but I can kind of see up your skirt. At least he said it, so it's good. So what happens next? I can't tell you that, but perhaps the killer dropped a fun and imaginative clue somewhere in the apartment. Ooh, I'm going to check the fridge and see if there are any clues inside a beer. Okay, can I ask you something? Why do you like making us do this stuff? The fat kid in India and didn't have any friends. I didn't know you were fat. Yeah, I was I was 200 pounds by the time I was in middle school. Kids were mean. Cows may be sacred there, but it doesn't help if you look like one. Pretty lonely, so I had to make up my own stories and games. Aww. And I promised myself if I ever made any friends that, that I would play those games with them. That is so sweet. I've seen old pictures of you. You were never a fat kid. No, I was svelte as a gazelle. <laughs> A gazelle blessed with a flair for storytelling. <laughs> Amazing. What about this? It looks like a receipt. 
For a cup of coffee, but it's dated 20 years from now. From the future? How fun and imaginative. So one of us came back from the future to murder Stuart. Correct. Does the gazelle with a flair for storytelling know he's just ripping off Terminator? Oh, does the gazelle know that according to Harlan Ellison, it was not ripped off from Demon with a Glass Hand, but was ripped off from another Outer Limits script he wrote called The Soldier? I'm gonna need another clue! <laughs> <laughs> it's a nerd fight here. The flowers and pie. But if we show up and you're holding them, she'll think they're only from you. They are only from me. You said the gift of you was enough. <laughs> now that I've seen what the gift of me with flowers and pie looks like, there's no going back. <laughs> Just Boy, accept this, Howard. I can't wait Howard. to see the look on her face. We're leaving right now. Oh, what? No. Stop it. Tell me what's going on. I saw my mommy with a naked man and she was trying to be a mommy again. Oh, wow. So I guess you're coming unannounced. So I she doesn't know that you're it. coming. I'm not nearly drunk enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one sip is enough. I feel you, Sheldon. Me too. I'm like dead. To see your the one sip. I'm sorry, buddy. That's rough. But didn't she know we were coming? No. I wanted to surprise her. What am I supposed to say to her after something like this? Did she see you in the window? No. Then don't say anything. I have to. How can we ever hope to have a healthy relationship if I don't tell her how disappointed I am and that I'll never forgive her? <laughs> Thanks. No, I'm just going to tell her I'm coming so she can give that good time Charlie the heave-ho. Look, she's a grown woman and your dad's been gone a long time. Maybe this is none of your business. I beg to differ. I used to live in those genitals. <laughs> now, if someone wants to move into my old room, I should at least get a boat. <laughs> I don't think you have a say in it. Leonard has found the time machine the killer must have used. You all inside it, and we hurtle to the very fabric of time. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Come on, some visual well effect. It's cool. I feel like the Maybe killer time either so Bernadette. <laughs> Or my hair isn't flat, Penny. my rack's not saggy so far, the future's great. <laughs> or Amy. <laughs> but not Leonard. Hey, can I go to the bathroom? Fine, just try not to look too alive. That's my jam. <laughs> He's good at it. So one of us went back in time to kill Stuart? But why? Perhaps this will help. Here are some facts about yourselves in the future. Hey, I, I won the Nobel Prize in Physiology. Then I used the money to buy Stuart's comic book store and close it down so Sheldon would pay attention to me. <laughs> Not the worst idea. Hey, I'm a famous actress living in London. I'm a professor at Stanford. So I guess you two are making it work long distance. Oh, no. In this game, as your careers both took off, you drifted apart. What does your card say, Bernadette? Well, uh, hang on. D do you think we'd really drift apart if we both became successful? Of course not. If I became a famous actress and had to move, you would just come with me. If I got a chance to be oh a God, I'm gonna fight again. Choice in where I end up. Yeah, but if I become a successful actress, we wouldn't need the money. You don't go into science for the money. So wait, if my career took me somewhere else, you might not go? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> He started it. New backstories. Uh, Penny and Leonard, you two lovebirds, are uh, super successful and living in New York. Uh, you're an actress, you're a professor, and you have three beautiful kids. Great. Really? You think I'm putting this body through three kids? <laughs> oh my god, it's just a game. Relax. Okay. Mother. 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 I guess it's gonna be a tough Shelly, talk. I'm so glad you're here. I saw you having naked sex. <laughs> Straight to the point. Earlier, I came here to surprise you. I looked in the window and I saw you with a man. Oh, Shelly, I'm so sorry. Come in. Maybe we should sit down and talk about this. Can you recommend a surface you haven't had coitus on? <laughs> Maybe we should sit at the table. <laughs> the lady just having fun, Jesus. Who was he? His name is Ron. I met him at my prayer group. How long have you been involved with him? A few months. And of those few months, how long have you been a demented sex pervert? <laughs> <laughs> that is no way to speak to your mother. But it is a way to speak to a woman who quoted the Bible to me my whole life and then desecrates one of Ethan Allen's finest sofas. I will give you one opportunity, young man, to apologize. Or what? Or I will send you to your room. I am a professional scientist, and I currently occupy the moral high ground. Go to your room. But I occupy the moral high ground. <laughs> Go to your room.
but I'm not a professional mama. scientist. Go to your room. At least let Howard know. <laughs> then you stay here for a while. In a minute, I, I don't understand why any success you have in acting is more important than any I have in science. Okay, if you do something cool in science, you might change the world. If I become a famous actress, I'm not gonna tell you why movie stars are the best they just are. I'm surprised you guys never talked about this stuff. Like you and Sheldon have everything figured out? Actually, our relationship agreement covers a wide array of scenarios, including career changes, financial instability, intelligent dog uprising. Literally FYI, we plan every on selling aspect out the human of race life hard. is covered in this agreement. It's good to be years, honest. Who knows what'll happen with any of us? I think you and Leonard will be together. <laughs> you do? Yeah. Well, I think you're the best couple I know. It's oh, Jewish still so be on the floor. Excuse me? I feel like you guys make each other better. Together, you two kind of make one awesome person. Aww. Oh, Stuart. Nice. Now I feel bad for murdering you. Oh, come on! Penny did it! See? <laughs> well, Penny was my second choice, so almost got it. Apparently, any man is welcome in this house. Why not you? <laughs> <laughs> Take it, things didn't go smoothly with your mom. No. You know, I, I sort of went through something like this myself. I'm talking about when my mom started seeing someone a couple years after my dad left. I didn't know she did. Yeah, she was dating this guy and I was kind of a jerk to her about it. Anyway, she broke up with him and she's basically been alone ever since. I always felt I was the reason why. I'm sorry. Although, based on your story, you absolutely were the reason why. <laughs> <laughs> but all moms deserve all to be happy, you, you might know? not want to get in the way of your mom's happiness. I love my mother. Even if she fornicates like a demonic weasel. <laughs> <laughs> and the healing begins. <laughs> 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 nice. Shelly, I'm sorry that you saw what you saw. I know that this is hard for you. I think what most upsets me about it, Mother, is the hypocrisy. Doesn't this contradict all the religious rules you've been espousing your whole life? You're right, it does. And it's something that I'm struggling with these days. Then why are you doing it? Because I'm not perfect. And that man's booty is. <laughs> <laughs> you can't resist it. <laughs> But I don't want to stand in the way of your happiness. So Aww. I'll condemn you internally while maintaining an outward appearance of acceptance. That is very Christian of you. My point is that you're going to need to be careful. You used to be protected by your pre-enlightenment mythology, but now you're going to need a stronger friend named Latex. <laughs> Are you having the sex talk with me? Well, someone has to. Oh, dear Lord. You, what, no, don't look to him. He's mad at you right now. <laughs> <laughs> look how tables have turned. <laughs> Sorry I ruined your game. I'm not pouting, I'm brooding. It actually was kind of fun. You're just saying that. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, it would have been fun yeah, you. if I no one was fight yeah. or being boring. <laughs> How about this? Whether we're friends, not friends, scattered around the world, no matter what, let's all promise to meet in front of this building exactly 20 years from tonight at 8 p.m. and have dinner like we always do. Aww. Aww. My phone doesn't have a calendar. <laughs> Aww. We're gonna call you. And it's done. Yep. We're all in. All right, I'll see you guys in 20 years. Ooh, it's fancy. <laughs> oh no! I know it. <laughs> Holy Stewart showed up, no! <laughs> well guys, these episodes were absolutely hilarious and the first episode was about Sheldon and Howard. It's kind of cute that they trying to become better friends. It was nice that Howard invited him to listen his speech and Sheldon behaved well, didn't say anything during the presentation, so I call it a success. But then in the second episode, when they were coming back, Sheldon saw what he wasn't supposed to see is his mom. At the same time, you know, Sheldon being mad, I also understand it, but at the same time, his mom is old enough. What they said, it's been a 
long, long time since Sheldon's father passed away, so she's just trying to move on and yeah, you can't just say no to it. She's a grown woman. She she knows what she's doing. She's been <laughs> long enough on this earth. I'm glad that they had a talk. <laughs> it was funny. And then also, I really like this murder mystery party. Like, I wish any of my friends would do that because I'm not that good of a party planner, but I would love to be part of the group. So one evening rush can be like dun 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 we have the whole like theatrical elements for the dinner and be like oh my god <laughs> i'm so happy to be here because it seems like fun they all seem a bit like boring i would be just jumping around looking for clues and be like yes someone kill Stuart. <laughs> let me find some clues yeah i would have been just so happy so yeah that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this reaction please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and share it with your friends and don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love and i'll see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>